would save our sons and daughters. Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you delivered will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know your baby boy would give sight to a blind man. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would calm the storm with his hand? Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels run? of God. The blind will see, the deaf will hear, the dead will live again. The lame will leap, the dumb will speak, the praises of Is Lord of all creation. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day rule the nations? Did you know that your baby boy is heaven's perfect man? child or hope is the great Good evening, IBCM family, and Merry Christmas to all of you who are watching this video and our online Christmas Eve service. Well, uh, how we desire that we could be together physically gathering, but 2020 has caused all of us to be in virtual. But we thank God for the means of grace that we can still gather in this format. I'd like to share it to you, um, so like a short message for this evening. If you're going to receive the greatest gift that you could ever have this Christmas, what would that be? Let me read to you a quote from a book called God is the Gospel by John Piper. The highest, best, final, decisive, good of the gospel, without which no other gifts would be good, is the glory of God in the face of Christ, revealed for our everlasting enjoyment. It is the saving love of God, his commitment to do everything necessary to enthrall us with what is most deeply and durably satisfying, namely himself. Our prayer is that as you celebrate Christmas with your loved ones, as you open your gifts tonight or probably tomorrow on Christmas Day, as you fellowship with some of your friends online or physically, our prayer is that you will see that all these things, all those things point to God's greatest gift for you, and that is himself. 
Christmas is about the incarnation of our Lord Jesus Christ. God giving himself to us sinners who desperately need him. That's why my prayer, our prayer, is that you will experience Christ this Christmas like never before. Because his ultimate, decisive, best gift is already in you. And it, it's Jesus Christ. Ephesians chapter 3 verses 17 to 19 says, So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth, length, height, and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge. And here, Paul's prayer and God's prayer to all of us this Christmas, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Merry Christmas to you and to your family, and God bless you.